Have you ever waking up in the morning with a plan? You know, you grabbed your own coffee, you got your favorite coffee mug, you sat in a great spot, you picked up your phone, maybe you're ready to read the, the Bible app, maybe you're ready to get into the Word. Then you have a notification and you look and you scroll and you scroll and you scroll and you scroll. And after a while, you start to play the comparison game. You start to say, why can't I do this or this? Or even that. Well, let's not look there. Let's actually go to the Word and see what the Bible says about us. It says in Psalms 139, For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. In this psalm, David was simply saying that God made you on purpose, for purpose. Just think about it. He knitted you inside your mother's womb to be the way that you are. It's like looking at this apple and this avocado. They're totally different. They One's hard, one's probably a little softer. One I can bite into right now and it'll be great. The other one if I bit into, it'll be a problem. But they both serve their distinct purpose, although they are so different. Or just like these two cookies. One's a chocolate chip cookie, one's a sugar cookie. One's probably a little sweeter than the other one. One's a little more chocolatey, obviously. But to the core, they're both cookies. To the core of all of us, we're all just children of God. God calls us his children. So there's no need to compare to other children. And there's no need to try to ask for the gifts that other children have. God made you on purpose with the gifts that you have. So you go out and change the world with your gifts. Numerous as numerous as